Hello friend, you're welcome to this discussion on how to use Microsoft Word in terms of review and tracking changes, especially on project research or research reports. Okay? In, in those days, some years back, students will usually print out their project reports or drafts of their projects and submit to the supervisor who will gladly use red pen to make corrections and put comments on these documents all right but this is 21st century where digital devices and network has made the world a flat place such that anybody can stay anywhere in the world and supervise a project and in that case there may not be need to carry physical or printed copy of this project and that is why this tool has become very very important it can be used in supervision of projects in higher institutions it can be used in re editing or reviewing of research publications it can also be used in report writing in workplace and that is why i am glad to take you through how to do this in a very practical manner there are basically things you can do with these tools call them track change function in microsoft you can active I'll, ju I'll just show you how to activate um, track changes and how to put it off and then you can also reject or accept the changes how to add comments resolve comments and delete comments these are things that you can do let me take you to a typical uh, project report submitted by a student is a sketch a student was working on and he, he threw it up and, and this is their sketch all right so if this is the work submitted to you by your students you know or somebody you want to edit his or her work the first thing you need to do is to activate the review function if you see this menu bar here the review function is somewhere here so you click on it it shows you other options available so what you quickly do is to track the changes and if you want to track change you may want to check other options here whether you want the change to show you only the final version or original with the make markup or just final version. so let's leave it there all right then let's click track change so now it's activated you see how it's highlighted so anything i do for instance if i delete this the system is tracking it okay so now I, I already see that there is a this topic is modeled up whichever way the student typed it there is supposed to be space here so if i click space it will put a mark here you see this mark wasn't here before let me return it if i put it you see the mark here to show you something is tracking it's, it shows there is something has been done on this line impact of the manufacturing sector all right on inflation inflation in nigeria so you see all the spaces are marked to show that something has been done there all right i could correct this project without my students seeing what i have done but he or she is going to lose the learning experience okay and that is part of why the, the professors will typically use their red biro to put on that research work so that while you are making the correction you will learn in the process and that is why the, these changes are tracked so that while the student is seeing the change and is trying to correct it the learning process is also achieved okay so this is it and then this is chapter one i do not like the way you put one here i want to quickly put you know o n e as one and then i delete this so the system is highlighting it that this is my input now so it's left for the student to accept it and of course this too i can also change it to cap whichever way you want to do it either with your keyboard or you click on um, your you click on the link here to say change to all cap all right now when i have done it the system noted that there is a change here to all cap all right so whichever thing i do here the system is tracking it let me center this all right let me put it at the center okay i center it beautiful so the system is showing it there has been a shift here and then i can change the font 
to whichever one I want. And when I'm, I do it, the system is tracking it. So it's easier for the student to see what I have done in this work. All right, this is background of study. Okay, I do not want it to be all caps. So let me use my keyboard, you know, to change it to what I want. And then this adjustment here is not something I expected. So I can actually move it. Okay. I can move it to start where I want it to start. And whatever I'm doing, the system is able to track it. So it gives the student a learning opportunity. Otherwise, if I don't track it and I make all this correction and return to the student, the student wouldn't have learned what he or she needed to learn. And that is part of why tracking is very, very important. So I come back to this background of study. And then maybe I'm not impressed with this background of study. And then I decide to put a comment. So how do I put a comment? I go up somewhere here. Okay. I highlight where I want the comment to be. If I want to highlight the whole paragraph, that would be fine. But I just decided to highlight background of study. And then this is supposed to be background of the study. All right. Beautiful. So background of the study. So I highlight that and then on that review, you see there's comments here, new comment. So I add new comment. When I click on new comment, I will drop my comment. I can type it here and the system is noting what I'm typing. But let me paste what I have written for one to, to spare time. So improve on this session by referring to studies that have shown, okay, that such interaction exists or not all right so that is what i want the student to do so he's going to do more work on this session and then i scroll down quickly maybe i'm fine with everything here but if i'm not fine i'll make the correction like here i expected the student to use only the surname of the author but the student included the surname and even the title of the project which is not proper i, I could correct it yeah but why i want to correct it i put a comment and said use only the author's um, surname because the upper format we are using here requires that okay use only the also author's um, surname and that is what i'm expecting so that that's the comment here and then i can also in show that i do not want this so i delete it so that the student you see is crossed once the student accepts that correction, the system will adopt the correction I have made. But it gives the student opportunity to learn. All right. So I move on from there. Am I okay with everything? Okay. Here too, the same thing. So I could just put another comment and say, use also the author's, um, author's son name only. Or I could also come here and say, correct in all cases okay so that i expect that this student should correct this in all cases where that issue appears and then statement of results statement of problem and i'm not satisfied with what he has written here as statement of problem so i put my comment because i want him to rework this okay i'm not impressed with this well if you want to change the format you can do that but I am not impressed with this. So I highlight this and put a new comment. And the new comment states clearly that this session is very weak. Watch my tutorial on how to write statements of problem to find how to improve on this session. What you wrote here is not statement of problem. Okay. By the way, for those of you who don't know how to write statement of problem, check the description of this video and you will see where i did a clear video four steps on how to write statement of problem all right so you move this on all right research question oh this is not it i had discussed this issue with this student and then he, he made a note when we discussed and we we're able to identify the objective he will pursue but he came here and wrote something else and for me this is strange so what do i do i, I mean this is hypothetical student by the way okay so what do i do all right i put a comment here to say this it is unfortunate that you discarded 
what were discussed as your objectives and started writing something else that is off point check the small notes you made the day we discussed this topic they are simple points all right so i put that comment i can also expand it to say your you i i highlighted it you can you can you can you know you can then um, bold the thing for emphasis your research questions here are not acceptable so i expect these students to return with a new research question okay this gap is not needed so as i covered it the system we note that is being covered so all the corrections i make here the system tracks them you know and by the time the student sees it it helps the person to learn that same thing our old supervisors used to achieve by using their red biro to put on our work okay so in this objective of course once the question is changed it affects the objective so i put another comment to say this hypothesis is that hypothesis okay no these objectives okay are not acceptable are not acceptable correct them after correcting your research question okay that's another comment for the student so i continue this way until i am done with the work of course the same thing with hypothesis so i am expecting the student to rework all of this okay so if this has been done scope of the study and then after that significance of the study maybe i want the scope to be somewhere down so i copy the scope of the study okay by the way this scope is too it, it, there are a lot of things here i don't want so maybe i'll quickly delete this session i don't want it so once i have deleted it, the system will cross it to show that this is not wanted okay and then the next thing um okay i i rather prefer this to be somewhere down so i totally cut it off to make it come after the significance of this so now i've I hit cut cut key you know the thing has crossed all of that session and then I drop it somewhere here and then it's dropping only the one I have left after the deleting deleting the other part you see I deleted a good number of them before I cut so it's dropping only the corrected version all right then of course this is um, expecting it to use upper form to do this same um, reference and this is not it so i put a comment and say use upper format here all right so that's it so I, I i quickly save this if you don't save you lose your track changes so i've shown you how to do track changes and comments so if this is saved and returned to the student so once you get it as a student or you are the person that is working on a report and your boss has sent this to you the first thing you do before you start any correction is to go to review to see if track change is still highlighted if it is any correction you are making will continue to be highlighted and that will not be the final version so what you quickly do is to uncheck track changes you uncheck it and then you start your correction how do i do my correction i will accept this correction by accepting if i don't accept i'll reject all right so let me accept these corrections as i'm accepting the cursor is jumping from one correction to the other until it gets to the end of the document i can accept as a whole accept all at once by highlighting and accepting but i won't learn i won't know the correction so it's better i take it step by step to see if i don't agree with any point and, and then i can put my objection there for instance if it's a review paper publication and the reviewer did not understand your concepts and say remove this and you want to defend it you can put your own comment to say this is why i am using this all right however your point is noted and this has been done to take care of your concern and that's all and then you correct it and return to them it's not everything that is corrected you have to accept like this if i don't want to accept this i could say reject that correction it will return me okay reject change it will return me to the original thing that was done 
all right but i want to accept so i click accept and it moves on accept accept so let me quickly run it through i can accept all the correction you see when i click accept those things that were deleted will quickly go off all right you see i accepted something here and something is missing see the person who crossed it also crossed the a so that's it, that's why you don't just have to accept hook line and sinker so you check what you're accepting to be sure you agree with it okay so that i can accept now so it leaves me with the yay okay and then i keep accepting all the corrections but when you're accepting the comment will not go the comments are meant for you to treat and address them so if i have treated the comments and i've addressed them you see that that thing we deleted all of them have gone let me show you again you see the scope when we accept all of them we go and then leaving us with the other one we dropped here we accept now the system will tell us all corrections affected there is no other correction that we need to accept the next thing is the comment oh there's an adjustment here i need to accept okay so comment once you're able to treat this comment you have treated what was highlighted and maybe your supervisor is not expecting you to put your own comment to bring a an updated version clean copy i will quickly come here and delete the comments so if i highlight this comment and click delete then move to the next i see another comment here it says use only author's son name and by the way the year got omitted so that year need to be dropped added okay whichever year i'm not sure but let's skip it this way all right so i haven't treated that i'll quickly um delete comment so move to the next comment delete delete comment all right i'm deleting because it's assumed that i have treated the consign if you don't treat it and you delete it then it's, it's an issue okay so haven't done all of that is there any other comment I think that's the last one aside the one on reference move on any other comments uh-huh so this is the last one here delete so this is a clean copy of the work that was sent and so this is what i will now return to my supervisor as the new version of the work so this is very very easy to do and i want to encourage you to henceforth see how you can use it in your research work and it will go a long way reducing the time and resources spent in printing hard copies for supervision anywhere all right thank you very very much for giving audience to this discussion today i wish you the very very best in your career and in your research if you appreciate what we are doing on this channel do please subscribe and that will be appreciated too thank you cheers